Flash floods are sudden and catastrophic events that are often caused by extreme weather conditions. When heavy rainfall, snow melt, or dam failures occur, water can accumulate rapidly and inundate nearby areas. These floods can be deadly, destroying homes, infrastructure, and claiming lives. In this video, we will take a look at five of the most extreme flash floods created by angry Mother Nature. So let's jump right into the video. Number 5. The 2013 Uttarakhand floods were a devastating natural disaster that occurred in the Indian state of Uttarakhand in June 2013. The floods were caused by heavy rainfall, which resulted in flash floods, landslides, and massive flooding of the rivers. The disaster claimed the lives of over 5,700 people, and thousands more were injured or went missing. The floods caused widespread destruction, with many homes, buildings, and infrastructure damaged or destroyed. The flooding began on June 14, 2013, after several days of heavy rainfall in the region. The rivers in the area, including the Ganges and the Yamuna, rose rapidly and overflowed their banks, causing widespread flooding in the region. The flooding was worsened by landslides, which blocked roads and caused massive destruction. The impact of the floods was devastating, with many people losing their homes, businesses, and belongings. The region's infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and buildings, was severely damaged, making it difficult for rescue teams to reach affected areas. The floods caused extensive damage to the tourism industry in the region, with many hotels, restaurants, and tourist attractions being severely affected. The rescue and relief efforts were massive, with the Indian government and the Indian Army launching a massive rescue operation to help those affected by the floods. Helicopters were used to evacuate people stranded in remote areas, and temporary shelters were set up to provide food and medical aid to those affected by the disaster. The government also provided financial assistance to those who had lost their homes and businesses. In the aftermath of the floods, there were calls for better disaster management and planning in the region. Many experts suggested the need for better flood warning systems, improved infrastructure, and better land use planning to reduce the impact of such disasters. The government also took steps to improve disaster management in the region, including the development of early warning systems and the creation of disaster response teams. Number 4. The 2019 Iran floods were a series of devastating floods that occurred in Iran from late March to early April 2019. The floods were caused by heavy rainfall, which caused rivers to overflow, landslides, and flash floods. The disaster affected many regions of Iran, causing significant damage and loss of life. According to official reports, the floods claimed the lives of over 70 people, with thousands more being injured or displaced. The floods were particularly severe in the provinces of Golestan, Fars, and Loristan, with many cities and towns being affected by the disaster. The floods caused widespread damage to infrastructure, including roads, bridges and buildings, and disrupted transportation and communication networks in the affected areas. The Iranian government launched a massive rescue and relief effort to help those affected by the floods. The government deployed emergency personnel, including the Iranian Revolutionary Guard and the Iranian Army, to the affected areas. The rescue teams use helicopters and boats to evacuate people stranded in flooded areas and provide food and medical aid to those in need. The floods also had a significant impact on the agriculture industry in the affected areas, with many crops being destroyed and livestock being lost. The floods disrupted the planting season, and many farmers were left without a source of income. The disaster also affected the tourism industry, with many hotels and tourist attractions being damaged or destroyed. The 2019 Iran floods were a tragic event that highlighted the need for better disaster management and planning in the country. The disaster brought to light the importance of taking proactive steps to mitigate the impact of such events and to protect the lives and livelihoods of those living in the affected areas. Number 3. The Philippines' floods of November 2013 were a series of devastating floods that affected various regions of the country. The floods were caused by Typhoon Haiyan which hit the Philippines in early November, bringing heavy rainfall that caused rivers to overflow and led to widespread flooding. The flood affected over 5 million people across the country, with over 6,000 losing their lives and thousands more being injured or missing. 
the damage to infrastructure was significant, with roads and bridges being washed away and homes and buildings being destroyed by the floodwaters. The disaster resulted in a massive relief effort, with the Philippine government and international aid organizations providing emergency supplies and medical assistance to those affected by the flood. Volunteers and rescue teams worked tirelessly to evacuate people from flooded areas and to provide support and assistance to those in need. The long-term effects of the flood were also significant, with many people losing their homes and sources of income and communities being forced to rebuild and recover in the aftermath of the disaster. Number 2. The Ankara Flood of 2018 was a natural disaster that occurred in the capital city of Turkey on May 6, 2018. Heavy rainfall caused severe flooding and landslides, which resulted in the loss of life and property damage. The disaster began in the early morning hours when heavy rain began to fall, quickly overwhelming the city's drainage system. The water quickly rose, flooding streets, homes, and businesses, and causing power outages across the city. The floodwaters were so severe that they caused a landslide, which resulted in the collapse of several buildings. The official death toll from the disaster was reported to be six, with several others reported missing. In addition to the loss of life, the flood caused significant damage to property, including homes, businesses, and infrastructure. The government estimated the total damage at around $20 million. Number 1. The Japan Tsunami Flood of 2011 was a catastrophic natural disaster that struck Japan on March 11. The disaster was triggered by a 9.0 magnitude earthquake that occurred off the coast of northeastern Japan, creating a massive tsunami that devastated the region. The tsunami waves, some as high as 40 meters, swept inland, destroying everything in their path. Entire towns and villages were wiped out, and over 18,000 people were killed or went missing. The damage to infrastructure was extensive, with roads, bridges, and buildings destroyed, and the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was severely damaged, resulting in the release of radioactive material into the environment. The Japan tsunami flood of 2011 was one of the deadliest natural disasters in modern history and it had a profound impact on Japan and the world. The disaster highlighted the importance of disaster preparedness and the need for global cooperation in responding to natural disasters. Flash floods are a deadly and destructive force of nature that can strike anytime, anywhere. They are often caused by extreme weather conditions, such as heavy rainfall, snow melt, and dam failures. When these events occur, water can accumulate rapidly inundating nearby areas and causing widespread damage and loss of life. The five extreme flash floods highlighted in this video serve as a reminder of the power and unpredictability of Mother Nature. They also demonstrate the importance of early warning systems, rescue. That's the end of the video. See you in the next one.